Yes, very impressive tactically here from both teams because they're playing structured basketball, which we personally like here on commentary team. Sylvia, walk us through some of these highlights from the KCCA team. Um, we've, um, Cynthia Iran Kunda, she's a point guard. She takes good control and she's a point guard who scores, so they need to take, um, cut down her points. She's already at um, nine points, which is very good at the first half. On the other end, it's a very balanced scoring sheet here from the KCCA players, Flavia, Rebecca, and uh, Barbara have been the dominant players, but Namuai has also been very, very comfortable with whatever she's doing on the court. She's one of those versatile players who can rebound, she can do some assists, and she can score. Yeah, she can post up well and she can shoot it around the D well. So if you give, don't give her the, the post, she, she can shoot, she's comfortable with it. Hilda Indasi as well, who came in off the bench for USIU, has been a dominant player. She doesn't score much, but she's a facilitator. Yes, and she has very good passes. She sees she has very good court vision and she's able to see her players when they're running down and she is a transition pass. And as we said there, cross-court pass there by Hilda Indasi. And again, when USIU had that triumph of players, Cynthia, Hilda and Sarah, they did dominate the game. Very clever by George Mayanga, putting those three players at the right time just to get the lead up and as we said they build the lead one point at a, at a time and now they have a very good lead and uh, they go into this game in the second half almost certain to win um 12 points um they have a uh, kcca have a whole half 12 points is not a lot but um if they don't uh, we don't see a bit of change in the way they're playing both defensively and offensively we might say usa is a bit comfortable with the 12 points 